Hello, students. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hello, Eduardo. Hey, someone is sick. Let me see. Oh, Isabo. Isabo is sick. Okay. Yeah, she sent me a message on WhatsApp. How was your day, my dear students? Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. I have someone listening every <laughs> at, a, at a time. Yeah, I I can I can see your your wife. Vamos a vamos a proteger esa conversación right now. <laughs> okay, que no falte a clase. Yeah. So <laughs> it is a great happiness for me to see you again, and for sure to have you here in class. So today we are going to work a little bit on time contrast. Right, we are going to be working on the sentences that I ask you to write. And for sure, remember people that we need to keep your cameras on all the time so we can actually participate from the class and uh, we can, I can actually see that you are uh, active and that you are part of all the things that we are doing. Okay, so today it's our class number 10. It is, we are very close to the end, right? Two more days and we are over with, with number three. And then we go on the last and final track that is or week number four, okay? So, but that is going to happen in a couple of days. I have here a, the class that we were studying yesterday. We were working on time contrasts. Right, we were working on time contrast, and we were trying to uh, actually identify the different moments in conversations with time contrast. Right, I send you this image to your chat, and I also send you an audio for you to practice. Okay, did you have the chance to listen to the audio? Tuvieron la oportunidad de escuchar la conversación on the audio. Ahorita, <laughs> no. Yes, no. Not this shirt. No. <laughs> but that, that's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, for, you forgot my... You forgot my request. Aha. Uh -huh. Ya lo veo, ya lo veo. Como me olvida. <laughs> Ay, teacher, ahorita, bro, what's up? Right? <laughs> you didn't even remember it during... The week, but uh, the week, the day, but we're going to use it today. So don't worry. I know you are very busy during the whole day, but we are going to do it right now. Let me just open the conversation and we are going to listen to it. I need you to have your notebook ready because I need you to take notes. Okay. Necesito que tengan su cuaderno listo porque van a tomar notas. Okay. Get ready with your notebook, your pen. Okay, it's like, ha, huh, examen. Dictation exam. Hey, I, I will make a dictation one of these days. On Friday, I will make a dictation. <laughs> so, let's see. I will connect just to listen. Dice. Teacher, we are in traffic. Someone is in traffic, oh my God. Okay, so let me just play the audio. And I think here I go. Okay. Let me just share this with all of you. Let me know if you can listen. Okay. Page 60, exercise five. Can you listen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Listening. On the Other Side of the World, Part A. Listen to Katie talk to her grandfather about an upcoming trip. Check the three concerns her grandfather has about the trip. Katie, I can't believe you're leaving for Japan next week. 
You're going so far away. Oh, Grandpa, you don't need to worry. I'll be fine. Well, you're a young girl going by yourself to the other side of the world. When I was your age, we used to take the train to another city or state, but that was it. Not a lot of people flew internationally. Yeah, but flying to other countries is really common now, Grandpa. And these days, lots of people work and live overseas. Yes, but you don't know anyone. When I moved to Chicago at your age, it took me months to make friends. Well, big international cities like Tokyo have people from all over the world. I've already gone online and found two groups of people from the U.S. who meet up at different places in the city. It will be easy for me to make friends. Okay, but promise me that we'll talk often. We'll want to know how you are. Your grandma and I can coordinate times that work for you. I promise. I love that we can see you with video calls and that they're free. I remember even calling someone in another part of the country used to be expensive. Now we can talk to you and see your face on the other side of the world for nothing. I know, it's great. You know, Grandpa, flying isn't as expensive either nowadays. You and Grandma could come visit me in Tokyo. I'm going to be there for six months. Your grandma does love Japanese food, and I would love for you to be our tour guide. Hmm, I'll look at tickets. Great idea. We could plan everything over our video calls. It would be great to see you on the other side of the world. Aha.、Uh -huh. Do you need to listen to it again? Okay, let's play it again. Remember to take notes about the ideas of what is the conversation, what is going on in the conversation, what is the lady going to do, where is she going to be, what is the differences in time, right? How was in the past, how is now in the present? There are a couple of, of comparisons there. So let's listen again. Page 60, exercise 5, listening on the other side of the world, part A. Listen to Katie talk to her grandfather about an upcoming trip. Check the three concerns her grandfather has about the trip. Katie, I can't believe you're leaving for Japan next week. You're going so far away. Oh, Grandpa, you don't need to worry. I'll be fine. Well, you're a young girl going by yourself to the other side of the world. When I was your age, we used to take the train to another city or state, but that was it. Not a lot of people flew internationally. Yeah, but flying to other countries is really common now, Grandpa. And these days, lots of people work and live overseas. Yes, but you don't know anyone. When I moved to Chicago at your age, it took me months to make friends. Well, big international cities like Tokyo have people from all over the world. I've already gone online and found two groups of people from the U.S. who meet up at different places in the city. It will be easy for me to make friends. Okay, but promise me that we'll talk often. We'll want to know how you are. Your grandma and I can coordinate times that work for you. I promise. I love that we can see you with video calls and that they're free. I remember even calling someone in another part of the country used to be expensive. Now we can talk to you and see your face on the other side of the world for nothing. I know, it's great. You know, Grandpa, flying isn't as expensive either nowadays. You and Grandma could come visit me in Tokyo. I'm going to be there for six months. Your Grandma does love Japanese food, and I would love for you to be our tour guide. Hmm, I'll look at tickets. Great idea. We could plan everything over our video calls. It would be great to see you on the other side of the world. Okay, good. Very good. So let's go back to our presentation here. Okay. And I am going to have you working in mini groups for you to discuss what you understood from the listening. Okay. You are going to share with your friends about what you listened to and what you understood from the conversation. Okay, you are going to have a little discussion. ¿Qué entendimos de la conversación? ¿Cómo, eh, eh, ¿Cómo captamos el mensaje? ¿Cuáles son las cosas que ustedes recuerdan de la conversación? Okay, so we're going to have small groups of five and we're going to discuss. 
go ahead and I will come and bring you back in a moment, okay? So please let me know if you got the invitation for the groups. Cesar, le dio la invitación a los grupos. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, me trajo a Raúl de nuevo. Y a Jenny. Okay. Hello. Accept my invitation, please. Hi, teacher. Hello. Eh, teacher, eh, entré en el, en el, con el celular, pero eh, acabo de entrar en la compu. I, I just take notes. Pero no sé cómo unirme al grupo. Okay, ahorita. O sea, en el celular se me uní al grupo. Ahorita. Para salirme, no okay. voy a salir del celular. Ok. Como las frases de pasado, que es futuro que antes también. Ok, there you go. Jenny, te llegó la invitación. Yes, teacher. Ah, uh, no. Ah, ahorita. Ah, oh, no. Thank you. Okay. Before the war supermarket, about 500 Chicago. Okay. Um, Right now, remember that we are talking about the conversation. Ahorita estamos hablando de la conversación. Que escuchamos en la conversación, que es lo que recordamos y todo. Ya vamos a ir a las preguntas. Okay. Decí, le decía a Gabriela que me iba conectando, no escuché. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Don't no worry. Gabriela okay. me estaba más o menos diciendo algunas cosas. Ajá. So, eh, it was the same audio that I sent you yesterday in the chat, okay? It was the same conversation. Ajá, ahí los cacho, ¿quién me ve los mensajes y quién? No. Lo vi, lo vi, lo vi oído una vez. Okay, so it is about a situation. What is the situation in the conversation for the ones who were there and listened? What is the situation in the conversation? No. It's about uh -huh. a trip to Japan. It's about a trip to Japan. Who is traveling to Japan? The grandfather, the daughter, the granddaughter, the so granddaughter. Far. Okay, the granddaughter is the one traveling. Later, they are going to go and visit her. What are some of the things that they contrast with? Ellos hacen algunos contrastes de situaciones. Do you remember any of them? No. No. He said that no. when he was young, when he was young, it was difficult to travel to another country because it was expensive, it was difficult to make friends and everything. But now, what does she say about that situation? ¿Qué es lo que la chica dice ahora en esta situación? ¿Qué es lo que es diferente ahora? Uh, flying to other countries is very common today. Okay, Fly, flying to other countries is very, uh, it's easier today because they are, the, the plane tickets are cheap, right? And what about communication? What is the benefit of communication now? They can make video calls. They can make video calls. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Let's go back to the main room. 
Here we are, teacher. Hello, we're here. <laughs> okay, good. So let's go back and let's talk a little bit about the situation. Okay, what was the conversation's main idea? What was the main idea of the conversation? Yeah, I understand that the main idea is about uh, uh, the grand, the granddaughter uh, will go to to Japan to work, and the grand the grandfather uh, is a little worried uh, for some uh, for for something for some things. Uh, yeah, uh, for something uh, about uh, the friend of, of, of the of the granddaughter uh, because the the city is uh, is uh, the other side of the world and 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 then he compare uh, the the time when he was joined and um she, she he compared the the time when he was joined and 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 he to to tell her that that when he got to another country uh, the another country was uh, need, was needed was needed uh, and, I know but that that's good that the other country was nearer than the other one that it's on the other side of the world. Thank you, Raul. That was a very good definition of the conversation. Yeah, you got a lot of details. <laughs> That's so nice, right? And your fluency is improving. I like that. I like that. Your fluency is a lot better. Tell me one <laughs> difference in communication that they talk about. Anybody, go ahead. A difference in communication. How are they going to communicate now? ¿Cómo se van a comunicar ahora que va a estar de viaje? In video calls. In video calls, right? They are going to make video calls. What was that like in the past? ¿Cómo era eso en el pasado? The, in the past, calls, the, uh -huh. the people uh, communicate in only in calls. In expensive calls. Exactly like that, right? People only communicate with expensive phone calls, right? Because there was no option for you to make video calls for free, right? Now, now you can do it. What is another difference about plane tickets? ¿Qué diferencia mencionan acerca de los vuelos? Do you remember that? That in the past, the plane tickets were very expensive and now they are cheaper. So, son más baratos and it is easier, right? And what is the recommendation that she makes to uh, her grandfather to make this distance shorter? What is the recommendation that she makes? You can come and visit, right? You can come and visit, she says that. She invites them to go to Japan, right? Because if they want to go and visit her, for sure, they can do it. And what is one benefit of visiting Japan? that he mentions. Hay un beneficio por el cual le gustaría visitar Japón. Which one is? He likes uh, Chinese or Japan food. Japanese food, right? Japanese food. Well, your grandmother likes Japanese food, he says. So it, that is one of the benefits of traveling to Japan because they are going to enjoy it. And she can be the tour guide. So they are not going to pay for anybody. No van a pagar guía porque ella va a ser la guía. <laughs> so there you go. I asked you yesterday. Let's, uh, yes. Let's, let's listen in uh, game. The, 
the audio. Okay, for sure. We can do it. Let's see. Oh, I close it. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. But you have it on the you have it on your chat as well. Yo creo que lo sí lo tienen en el chat. Yo se los envié ayer porque lo ya lo sé. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but you can listen to it on the chat. I send it there. Si no se los reenvío otra vez en el chat, but you have it there. Ahí tienen el link en el chat, okay? Because I I close it. Oh my god. No sé dónde lo mandé a dormir ya. Yeah. I close the page. But I will, I promise to send it back on the chat. You found it? Okay, that way. You can, you can also listen there as many times as possible. You can take notes about it and you can rewrite it if you want. So that's perfect. I have here a couple of examples. Yesterday, I asked you to write some sentences uh, on the different time contrasts, okay? So I need examples. Necesito ejemplos de los diferentes time contrasts with the time phrases, right? In the past, 10 years ago, when I was a child, when I was a kid, what examples do you have for the past tense? Examples for the past. Uh-huh. I will go one by one. Nidia, what is your example for the past tense? Uh -huh. So invent one right now because we don't have a, any option here. Invent one about the past tense. You can say, 10 years ago, when I was a kid, when I was in school. Jenny, give me your example. Um, two years ago, a pandemic affected all the world and killed a thousand of people. Okay, the pandemic affected the world and killed thousands of people. Very good, excellent example, Jenny. Any other one? In past. Ahorita solo en pasado. Go ahead, Edgar, go ahead. I can see that you want to give me one example. Edgar Abel. Edgar Abel, for sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, six months ago, I used to stay at home. But nowadays, I, I am studying English. Okay. In the future, I'm going to be uh, speaking English. Okay, you will be speaking. You gave me the three examples already. That's good. Let's okay. see. Raul, what is your example? <laughs> okay, DJ. Uh, in the past, my parents bought my shoes. And they bought anyhow kind of shoes. Okay, but they now, bought. Uh -huh. But now I buy my shoes and I... Um, in my um, very, um, escoger teacher. Choose. <laughs> it is curious Choose. because the shoes, the shoes. I mean, you are talking about the the object, right? The one that you use on your but feet. But now I buy my but the and now I buy my shoes and I choose them. My, and I choose them. And, and I choose them, them, right? Very good. Excellent example, right? Joanna, what is your example? Choose, choose. You choose the choose that you want to choose. Joanna, give me your example. Ah, I have it on the chat. When I was a kid, I played on the street at 11 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you, Joanna. Jose Daniel, what is your example? So in a year, I was a finished university. Okay, 20 years ago, I was attending university. Good, very good. Gabriela Michelle. Um, when I was a kid, I liked to play basketball. Okay, when I was a kid, I liked to play basketball. Very good, Eduardo Jose. When I was a... Uh... When I was in high school, in school, I used to play football all the time, in the morning, in the races, 
end of the finish of classes. Okay, at the end of classes, right? You used to play mm -hmm. soccer all the time. Cesar Guadalupe. I remember when I was a child, I used to play on my bed. You used to play in your bed. Good. Ever Ernesto. Your example. Mr. Ever, Mr. Ever, where are you? Forever. Lost. Catherine, what is your example? Uh, when I was in school, I was always late. <laughs> When I was in school, I was always late. Okay, good. Well, I, I didn't have that problem because my school was very close to my house. And I was like, <laughs> nah, anyway, right? Thank you. Elvira, what is your example? Elvira, Alejandra, or Angel Alejandro? Yeah. When I when I was in school, I was a very good playing ping pong. Okay, I was a very good ping pong player. Very good job, Alejandra. And um, ten years ago, most of people don't have Facebook. Didn't have. Didn't. Didn't have. have. I had Facebook ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, los viejitos que tuvieron Facebook, right? <laughs> Nidia, go ahead. Yes, I see. It. Um, when I was in the kid, I watched TV in the afternoon. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to watch TV in the afternoon. Edson, thank you, Nidia. Very good example. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Hi. <clears throat> and ten, 10 years ago, my news. Well, very good. <laughs> <laughs> and now they are like a little devil. And, and, now, and, and now they follow me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they were very good, but now they are not very good anymore. Miguel Angel, your example. Uh, yes, uh, my case, uh, uh, I lost the case uh, to my house uh, last week. Uh, due to distraction. Okay. So you lost the case of your house. Or what, what happened? What, what le... happened? Uh, no, no, no. ¿Qué, le... ¿Qué fue lo que le pasó, Miguel? Uh, for distraction. Distraction. To distraction. Okay. It was, <laughs> it was a, a distraction. Okay. I, I didn't get the, the complete idea, but it was something about the destruction. So, who bought with colones here? Who met them? ¿Quién los conoció? ¿Quién conoció los colones aquí? Mi teacher. Cecilia, Lidia. Okay, me teacher. So, Ooh, right. when I was a kid, I used to pay things with colones. <laughs> Son 30 años. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to buy things with colones, right? Let's see. What is a plan that you have for five years? So you say, in five years, what are you going to be doing in five years? ¿Dónde van a estar? ¿Qué van a estar haciendo in five years? Uh -huh. In Edson. five years, in five years, and teaching be... English. Ah, good, very good. Okay, <laughs> welcome to the academy. I will receive you there. <laughs> In five years, I will be teaching English. Edson says. Good, very good. What are you I, going to be doing in, in five, five years? In five years? Yes, teaching English. Okay. I give me work. In uh, for sure, <laughs> I I can right. I can if it is not in Insafor, they're in the academy for sure. I can welcome you there. Let's see uh, what are you what you. are you going to be doing in five years, people? ¿Qué van a estar haciendo en cinco años? Ceci. 
In five years, I will go. Well, I will travel around the world. You will travel around the world in five years. Yes. Good. Okay. <laughs> Very good. What about the rest? Um, in five in five years, uh, I work in the company, American company. Okay, I will yes. work at an American company. Good, very good. Raul, what are you going to be doing in five years? Uh, in five years, uh, I will to change my cell phone teacher. I will change my cell phone. Good, very good. I think I am going to change my cell phone in two weeks because it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lo puse en modo avión, en modo avión y no voló. So, <laughs> that was very sad. Cesar, what are you going to be doing in five years? Peter, I will be living in England. I will be living in England mm -hmm. in five years. Good. In five years, I will live in Canada, says Reina. I will be a teacher too, says Joanna. <laughs> Okay, and Cesar will be in England. Edgar, where are you going to be in five years? In one, in one and a half year, I, I'll be in, in Europe. In one and a half year, you will be in Europe. So send me something from Europe. Okay. I, I'll be there in Ireland. In Ireland, wow. Send a lot of pictures, okay? No me worry. Okay, I, I will send it. <laughs> okay. as, soon as I finish the the this course or the final uh -huh. yes uh, I mean as soon as as I finish every level in in support I will be there <laughs> okay very good excellent excellent goals right because they are completely set as soon as you finish with English corporativo you will be in Ireland good okay yeah. Nice, nice goals. So I have here a couple of uh, questions for you to match. And I have the first one. Before the automobile, what happened? Before the automobile, what happened? You can match it with the ones that we have here. People long distance teacher before. People walk long distances. Walk long distances. Okay, people walk more uh, like long distance. Let me see. Uh, people used to travel. Most people are going, people didn't travel. People work, people play. Hey, I don't have that option. Hey. Is the option D, people didn't travel as much? As much from city to city, right? Here we have option D. And the other one that you mentioned, it's also true. Right, people used to walk long distances, right? Before there were before supermarkets. There were, before there were supermarkets. People used to shop at the small stores. People used to shop at small stores. About 500 years ago. People were for uh, work more than uh, four hours a week. Uh, about 500 years ago, 500 years ago. Ah, no. <laughs> People played the first game of golf. People played the first game of golf, right? 500 years ago, right? Con un hueso de tero, maybe. We're going to go here. In most offices today, People work more, people and, uh, people work more than 40 hours a week. People work more than 40 hours a week. Yes. In many cities nowadays, pollution is, pollution is becoming a serious problem. problem. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. What about the next one? Soon. Most people are going to work at home. Okay. Soon. Doctors find doctors. Most people are going to work at, at home. Well, yeah, it can be it can be any of the options because it might happen soon that all the people are going to work at home. They are going to find a cure for the common cold. Now we have the COVID vaccine. So it's like people uh, 
okay, let's see, there will probably be cities in space. Maybe sometime in the future, there will be cities in the space, but for the soon the, thing, people the will... Data, they will probably be cities in space. Here, if people were, uh, sorry, now it's not for 40 hours a week, sorry. It is people are going to work at home soon. This is the answer. And the last one, in the next 100 years, Doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Now they have the cure for COVID, they say. So there you go. Now you have all these vaccines for COVID. And those are uh, the sentences for us to practice. But I have here a couple of more examples. And it says, in the past, and you go in the up pronunciation, say, in the past, very few people use computers, right? In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time, right? All the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. I don't think in the future, nowadays. In the future, there will be a computer in every home, okay? So the time expression has an upgoing pronunciation and the rest of the sentence is going down, right? So you don't say, in the past, no, say in the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Practice with me. In the past, in the past, in the past, in the past, in the past very few yes, people use computers. Very, very, very few, few people use, use computers. computers. Today, Today, Today people, people use computers use all the time. All the time. People, people use computers use computer all the time. time. In the future, in the future, in the future there will be a computer in every home. There will be a computer in every home. Okay, now I hear I have a couple of topics for us to talk about. Okay. Yo quiero de piña. Ay, de fresa, de mandarina, de piña. So, give me one. <laughs> Hello. Uh -huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Que me guarde una de piña, diga. De piña. I want <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> the strawberry. I want strawberry and I, I, I want pineapple. Good. So, I have different... Cocomelo. <laughs> Cocomelo. <laughs> Cocomelo. <laughs> I have different topics here, right? Education, entertainment, fashion, food, housing, medicine, shopping, sports, technology, and transportation. What do you think it's going to be different in the future from what it is right now? Or how was that in the past that you can compare it with nowadays? How can you make the comparison? Podemos tomar cualquiera de esos temas y hacer una comparación between the past and the present or between the past and the future. So like the one that we have here about computers. So this one belongs to technology. You can use one, you can create one example with the three forms about a cell phone. You can talk about education. You can talk about food, about fashion, about sports, any of them. So take the three examples in the past, today, and in the future, and take one topic, okay? Los tres ejemplos de un tema. For your example, go ahead. So you can say in the past, uh, education was very strict. You can say today, many people struggle a lot with education. In the future, the students are not going to go to school anymore because they will study only at home. So you can have your example about sports, about technology, transportation, food, any of them but make the three sentences. Tres oraciones, un tema. And whenever you have one example, let me know. Tan pronto terminen algún ejemplo, me avisan.
Okay, whoever has an example, let me know. I have an, an example. 60 years ago, people used to cultivate their own food. Yes, they used to cultivate their own food. What happens today? ¿Y hoy qué pasa hoy en día? Today. Eduardito, what is the contrast for today? <laughs> Sorry, the Sorry, microphone. The, and that's the, and that's the secret of eternal life. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Eduardo, your microphone again. Tamo. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Today, the people used to buy uh, the food. Okay. In this case, you say like used to buy. No, because you are using today. Today, people buy their own food. And what about in the future? What is it going to happen in the future? People are not going to eat anything. In the future, people going to take pills. <laughs> okay. In the future, people are going to take pills like the supersonics, right? Good. The Jetsons. Good. Very good job. Any other one who has an example? Me, teacher. Jenny, go ahead. My, in, uh, as for example, the topic shopping. Okay. In the past, people just used to go to the mall to buy clothes. Nowadays, people try to buy online. In the future, people uh, will prefer buy just online. Okay, people will buy just online in the future. Very good job. Thank you, Jim. I'm ready, teacher. Raul, go ahead. Okay, teacher. In the past, uh, my topic, transportation. Transportation. In the past, in the past uh, to drive a car was difficult. And today, drive a car is very easy because there are automatic cars. In the future, in the future, cars drive itself. <laughs> cars will drive on their own, right? Try dr cars will drive by themselves. Cars, yes, there, there is the one. Cars, will drive, cars will drive by themselves. Okay, se van a manejar solos. Yeah. I think there is one, the Tesla car. Themselves. Miguel, go ahead. Yes, teacher. Uh, in my case, uh, in this subject is my case. And the week. I began to have <clears throat> health problems and now I feel better uh, hesitated to connect uh, to the class. Oh, you uh, were having health problems. Yes. Uh, okay. Then uh, I thought uh, it is my future. Okay. And, and I have to learn uh, to try uh, Okay, so you wrote your examples on your own, right? <laughs> In the past week, I started feeling bad, right? I was having health problems. Now I am back in class and in the future, for sure, he's going to feel better. <laughs> so there you have a good personal example. Thank you, Miguel, for your personal example. I, I am going to call the attendance meanwhile, okay? Le voy a ir llamando la asistencia mientras terminan sus oraciones. Okay, Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Ángel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Cecilia. Here, teacher. César Guadalupe. Present. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Eduardo José. I'm here, teacher. Elvira. I'm here, teacher. Ever Ernesto. Eversito. Ever. Okay, okay. Se me perdió Ever. 
Hemos perdido a Eden. The next one, Gabriela Michelle. Present. Uh, Isabel. Yeah, Isabel sent, sent me a message that she was sick. Jenny Elizabeth. Here. Joanna Yesenia. Thank you. Joanna Yesenia. Joanna is in the chat. Oh, He's thank you. Present. Yes, thank you very much. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Carlita Fabiola. <laughs> Carla Fabiola. Carla. Okay, my God. I am looking for people, chasing people here. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Angel. Present. Nidia. Present teacher. Raúl. Present teacher. Here Reina. Teacher. Thank you. Reinita. Ruth. Samuel. Present. Thank you. Samuel Isaac. Present. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. And Jancy Astrid. Jancy, Jancy. ¿Dónde estás, Jancy? Ok. Ahí perdimos a Jancy. <laughs> ok, my dear class. Ever. No, we didn't get ever back. Well, let's go back to our presentation. I need one more volunteer for the sentences. Finger credit okay. or volunteer. Go ahead, go ahead. Go, Cesar. In the past, people... In the past, people used to go to school walking. Today, people go to school on cars. In the future, there will be flying cars to go to school. <laughs> There will be flying cars to go to school. Okay, very good job, right? Very good job on your sentences. Edgar, go ahead. Long time ago, people used to write letters to communicate. Nowadays, they used to text message or phone calls. In the future, they just will need to communicate mentally. <laughs> we'll be like, mm, I, I know what you're thinking, right? Very good job. Okay, they'll be curious <laughs> to know what the other person is thinking. That will be awkward. <laughs> Nidia, go ahead. In the time is education, el tema. They say in the past, education was limited. Yes, um, today, can people go to a school every day? Uh, can it be face-to-face -face or virtual? Okay, we have, the, we have that future now, right? Yes. We have the future right here, right now. Yes. Okay, good. The, we are in the future now. In the future, education, it will be virtual for uh, people. It will be virtual for everybody, right? It oh, will for be, everybody. It will be virtual for everybody. Very good job. So I have here a couple of examples on uh, tongue twisters, okay? We're going to practice a little bit just for you to wake up because we are about to leave. I have here two tongue twisters. You know what a tongue twister is? It's a trabalenguas. Um, so here we have two examples. I have Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? Right? And the next one, it's how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Practice with me. Pussy Woozy was a bear. Pussy Woozy had no hair. Pussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? Read it with me. Pussy Woozy was a bear. 
A beer, no, right? Say... <laughs> una beer, no, porque no era, una, no era ninguna beer. A beer. Okay, the next one you have how much wood, how much wood, how much wood, wood, wood a woodchuck. Would a woodchuck chuck 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 if a woodchuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood could chuck wood okay how much wood would a woodchuck it is it is in the es un trabajo how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood go ahead how much wood would a wood chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Would a wood chuck chuck wood? Okay, you see, hi, you see, I got you, I got you to wake up. Good. I have another one right here. Let's see if this one is it's easier for you. If two witches, if two witches had to watch two watches, which which would watch which watch? Like they choose and choose. If two witches, 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 <risa> Como que Pablito clavó un calvito. Pablito clavó un calvito. Come on, clavito. Okay, let's go with the first one. One, two, three. Pussy, pussy. Okay. <risa> Which, Pussy, Pussy, was, was, a was, was, was a bear? Which was, 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 was a bear? Okay, this is a bear. Pussy, Pussy was, yes, a bear. Was a bear. Was a bear. Was a bear. He was a bear. Pussy was, Pussy was, a bear. Pussy was, Pussy was, a bear. Pussy was, Pussy was, a bear. Pussy was, a bear. Pussy was he had was he very fussy? Was he? Okay. Pussy was somebody was he? The next one. How much wood? One, two, three. How much wood would a witch be? If a witch would be a witch, would a witch be a witch? 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 How much wood? How much wood? Would a wood How chuck chuck? Would a chuck chuck? A wood chuck. How much wood? Wool. How much wood? A wood chuck. 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 If a wood chuck chuck. Wood chuck. Wood chuck. Wood. Okay, these, these exercises, it might look silly, right? Les pueden dar risa y todo, y puede ser muy divertido todo. They are very useful for pronunciation. Son muy útiles para su pronunciación. They help you to uh, uh, improve your fluency, to improve your pronunciation, and to listen to a specific sounds, right? Because in this case, we have bear and beer, and they are not similar things because... Pussy Wussy was a beer. You say, what? Era una cerveza. No, it's a bear. Pussy Wussy was a bear. Pussy Wussy had no hair, right? And you have the same pronunciation, bear and hair, right? Pussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, right? Fussy is similar to Wussy. Was he, right? And in some cases, they don't have to be logical, right? But you can actually use your pronunciation and you can practice. You say like, how much wood? Do you know what's the meaning of wood? Madera. Madera. How much wood 
Would a woodchuck, what is the woodchuck? A woodchuck is an animal that cuts the wood. And there was a cartoon with that, like. <laughs> like, like a beaver. No, a woodchuck. Un pájaro. Un pájaro carpintero. Carpintero. No. How much wood would a woodchuck wood. chuck? What is the action of chuck? It's to cut. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And in this one, we have if two witches, witches are like the <laughs> with the big nose and the hats and Halloween and everything. If two witches watch two watches, which which will watch which watch right this is very good for you to practice the different phonemes the different pronunciation okay so it was a very good thing for you to practice i will share more with you for you to uh, practice a bit more so let's finish with this exercise right and once we are done with this one we are going to be done with the class and so like in the past people Good food. Used to the, uh, used to eat. Used to eat. Oh, okay, no, used to oh. eat. That's correct, uh, right? Good food. In the past, people used to eat good food. Or in the past, people ate good food. You can use the two sentences and that's correct. In the future. We will find a we will find. A cure. a cure for cancer. Okay, in the future, we will find a cure for cancer. What about mm -hmm. the next one? These days, people, people exercise days, a little. People exercise a little, right? Ya la gente se ejercita un poco. Right now, right now, children know a lot about technology. Know a lot about, about technology, technology about right? In 20 years, many animals disappear. Many animals will disappear. Will disappear. Will disappear. Will disappear. 100 years ago, people be? used to be used to be, right? used to be more, more honest. honest. Right? People used to be more honest. More honest. People more now than in the past. Drive. People drive, drive. more drive. now drive. than drive. in the past. In 2012, I I will for a day. In 2012, <laughs> I graduated. I graduated. Very good. It's in the past, right? In 2012, right? When I was a kid, I, I used to play. I used to play, play soccer. soccer. I used to play soccer. And number ten, today, today we we have a much free time. We we and don't it's a we don't have we don't we have don't we have. haven't no we haven't no we don't have we, we don't, don't have, have we don't have much don't much, have much free, time. Free, time. free time right we don't have much free time so tomorrow we are going to talk about conditional number one with if clauses, okay? If, if it's called conditional because you say like, ah, si esto hubiera pasado, si esto pasaría, right? Si esto hubiera sucedido. If, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. So I am going to send the topic to you. So maybe you can investigate a little bit and you can get ready for tomorrow's class. If you get a high paying job, si yo tuviera un trabajo super bien pagado, Ah, you said, I, I wouldn't have to work as hard. I would be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes, right? And all these different possibilities of a high pay job. But that is going to be tomorrow, okay? So I am going to be working on that for tomorrow. If you don't connect to class, you are not going to know what is going to happen with the if classes. So we're going to pass the next level. <laughs> you are not going to pass to the next level, right? If you don't send the documents, you won't have the chance to go to the next level. <laughs> so that is an example of an if class. And if we don't finish the class, you are going to fall asleep on Zoom. So have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yes, sir, for the Take care.
good one. Bye. Have a good night, my Take dear care, students. Take good, good care. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye, my dear students. Take care of yourselves. Thank see you. you see you tomorrow. See you, see you. Have a wonderful night. Listen to the audios. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night.